I have a question. Why do some instructors emphasize certain conditions that they want at impact and then demonstrate completely different conditions <clears throat> when they hit the ball? My question is, which of them are we to follow? Here's a very good golfer. Now, this guy is a very, very good golfer. And he's demonstrating the theory, or one theory, of how to draw the ball. And he clearly demonstrates the club head going between the red line and the blue line. In other words, between the target line and slightly to the right of the target line. Now, the, the danger in that, as he knows, is that if a player goes too far to the right, too far outside the line, he's going to end up shanking the ball. So he demonstrates the theory and he demonstrates the practice totally differently. You can see the club head going in theory between the red and blue line, but in reality it goes much more, much closer to the ball to target line, which is what he's expert at doing. We also see that there is a tremendous difference in his address position to his impact position. Now he stresses closing the stance, closing the body, but when he hits the ball, his shoulders are not on that line. His shoulders are significantly open uh, as, are, as are his hips and as is then the club head line. So which of these two are we to follow? Which of these two do golfers, average golfers, like myself, now, which of these are we supposed to follow? The theory or the practice? Many golfers will listen to what the player is saying. We will look at what they're demonstrating, but they will tend to follow what he actually demonstrates uh, when he hits the ball. Thoughts back more than welcome. Bye for now.